Alright. Right. Hello, everybody. This is the very first actual for real for a live podcast, you know? Oh, yeah! Hey, Why yeah. are you yelling? This broke the mic. Oh, yeah, oh, supposed to let my oh. neighbors. Oh, you have bro, neighbors? There's no way they're hearing oh, you that much. So I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so screaming, subscribe to the internet cafe. Subscribe to the internet cafe. Okay, my name is Helson. What's up, guys? Oh, I'm Doka. I'm Senju, the goat. Nobody Good cares, job. Doka. They can't even see you. Yeah, I'm oh, just yeah. I'm just a narrator. Oh, yeah. You didn't know that? Put your, put your hand in the camera so they, so they know. Oh, got him. Alright, and um, we got a... Uh, no, no, no. What was it? Uh, Jasmine right here. We got Jasmine right here. <laughs> <laughs> and we got... Ah! And we, and we got my son... Angelo. Angelo Russell. I... After... Uh, now that he's done butchering our names, um... I'm Angel. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Pete Angel on Instagram. Oh, we're doing that I am Jessica. Y'all can find me on IG, xn.jess, and I got a nail page, so if you need your nails done... Is um XN dot style J. Have a nice day. Oh, Amen. That's how you're part of that. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I will unsubscribe. No plugs allowed, apparently. I'm sorry, man. We only do pay So you will not keep him? You will keep his name? No, I said I'm gonna mute all of Anyways, now on this side right here, we got E Jazz. What was it? Swaggy D the Dawn. Can't even see him. You can't. Bow, bow, bow. He's like there being weird. Anyways, and right beside him is my baby boy <laughs> Snorlax. I'm not here, bro. No. I'm not here. Daddy Snorlax. He's, he's just a, there, he's, but he's not there. He's Holy another narrator God. we have here. Well, <laughs> Disembodied voices. That's what we are. Favorite. I'm the voice that got me here this night. Oh, <laughs> I hear voices. Oh yeah, let's go. Niggas is just having fun. Anyway, so today uh, this is our like hundred subscriber special. We're live. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Niggas, niggas have been yeah, complaining sorry. we ain't showing our faces, but Doke ain't doing that shit, so but here, here's the two. Yeah, don't worry, I'm black. Sure. You don't see my face? I am black. You can't see my face. The 101 subscriber special, Doke will show you. 103, actually. We're at 103 right now. Honestly, 42069s. Subscribe, make it 104. 42069 subscribers, Doka will show his feet. Show his feet. Oh, He'll show his feet in the next time. Like, the next time I was What? What? Oh, Snorlax is dirty. Oh, yeah. That's all I gotta say. Alright. So, what is today's topic, my guy? I have no idea. My, my good sir, yes, you do. We know. You spent a good, like, 10 minutes searching for it. Please let the audience know. Or mm. I will. Oh, please do tell. Do it. If you know. Uh, so. Am I the asshole? Oh, the pink. I saw a video about that today. So, please inform me about this pink sauce. I don't know too much about it. You know about it, Doka? No, I do not. So, Jay knows. So, pass the mic. Jalissa, let's hear it. I don't know who that is, but that ain't me. Any hooch. Hooch? Hoochie? 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 Hoochie mama? Are you saying like a woman? You ain't nothing but a hoochie mama. You're a woman? Hoochie mama. You're a girl. Are you saying I look like a man, so now you're judging me? Who said that? No, you said that. Now you're judging me. You said that. Don't don't say that. So back to the pink sauce. Back to the pink sauce. Mm, Thank you. The pink sauce. Uh, uh, so the pink sauce is this lady on uh, TikTok. I didn't even know who she the fuck was, but she started going. Well, I guess she was viral previously. But. Muévete. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So eight it's three this, Elson. Hard what? Um, it's this girl. She decided to make her own like sauce, like. To like sell to people, mm -hmm. I don't even know why, but she made it pink, and you know how mm -hmm. pink is aesthetic. Yeah. I mean, fair, but I'm like, like, bro, she basically everyone keeps reviewing it, saying it tastes like ranch or like a sweeter ranch, and I'm like, all right, but it's pink, so that's like what everyone's like, oh my god, it's pink. Who bro. doesn't like pink? <coughs> but the controversy is that she's mailing these pink sauces out and like mass producing them in her house. No preservatives and it has milk in it. Yeah. 
and yeah, and like and, and the, she, like the way she's shipping it too, like she's shipping it in like Ziploc bags. It's not like anything no, no, like no. to I keep saw, it. I saw someone order it, and it was in a box. It was in a box. Yeah, it was in a box. I thought it was in a box. That's what I see on the like. It was in a box. Bottles. No, no, okay, so no. Bro, like, that's so what I'm saying, like... She has it in bottles, but then she throws it inside a plastic bag. See, and like, then, like, the, you know, the, the regular ship, like, UPS, USPS bags that you just ship? Like, that's what she's shipping it look, in. Look, check this out. not sauce. anymore. Now she has, like, her own pink box. And, like, she makes it look all pretty, but still, like, you're shipping these things out. Yeah, it's like, it, first of all, it's like, it has milk. And shipping, sometimes, depending where you're at, takes, like, four days. Yeah. Bro, that, that raises so many red flags too, because we all said di three different things. So, like, imagine that she probably <laughs> has done all those things before in, in her process of trying to make money. Like, bro, I said barbecue sauce and blue cheese. If y'all fighting me on that, y'all can. Like, that's the reason why it tastes like blue cheese, because it's fucking expired dairy. Like, that's why it tastes like blue cheese. It tastes like sweet ranch. Nah, bro, ranch is not supposed to taste sweet. I've been hearing that too, though. Like, I've been hearing. Have yeah. have yeah. any of y'all tried it? Fuck no. Hell no. no. Absolutely not. Right. Absolutely not. I had to ask. I had to ask. I had to ask. It's $20. Wait, we'll pay $20 for sauce. That's not good in a bit. $20 for, $20 for, that's for sauce? Ooh. Um, That's crazy. That's first off. Yo, bro. What sauce, bro? Ah, uh, never mind. I forget to ask. Uh, forget I asked, bro. Fucking yo. <laughs> But yes, Andrew, as you were saying? Um, from what I've heard, people have been saying there's been reports of niggas was like, like going to the hospital, getting hospitalized, several people saying that shit. Like there's several reports like that. Have, it's like, crazy. Have they, have, have, they, have, they, have they, have they, um. Food poisoning, getting a food poisoning. I was gonna say, I was gonna ask, what was like, the, what were the reasons, like why they were in the hospital type shit? Yeah, yeah. That makes sense, that makes sense. Cause it's just, it's just expired food business, essentially. And like people keep saying that like, oh, it's like, Every time she sends out like a couple males, like she mails a couple out, like they're all different shades of pink. Yeah. That was oh, dear. And so it's inconsistent. That they're made like dragon fruit infused. That's why they're pink. But it's like, why is it such a different shades of pink? That's, it's, it's that's weird. weird. That's weird. Nah, honestly, dude, I, I'm jacking that. That's just like different stages of the expiration period. <laughs> like, like, it's just going through his course. The light pink one is the good one. Like, if it went to Australia, it's just a little bit darker than the one that went to like Brazil or some shit. <laughs> I don't think That's she's doing that like international. I think it's only yours. I still, I think it's still national. She's like, oh, I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get an FDA approved. So we Bitch, can good luck with that, bro. You, so we can start selling got, it bro, at, like, at this point, she already, she already got a fucking nuke already from how many confirmed <laughs> kills she's got. Like, so wait, uh, hold on, hold on. Is she, is she white? No, she's like, black. Black. Nah, she's, so. That's like a lot. Oh, no. What people like get, are saying, they're like, she's black. Y'all are just hating on blacks. Um, Yo, black that's women. crazy. Yo, it's not that, but it's like. If, it, if she were white or whatever, like I'd be like, bro, why are you sending no five products? Hold on, I have, I have, a, I, have I have a question for Doka. I have, a, I have a question for Doka. Okay, yeah. A question for me. So, so what is your what what and Omari too? What are your thoughts on individuals that that like immediately go to the race card, like for any argument that they just jump to the race card? They're gay. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He said they're gay. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty no, fucked, man. It's time, bro. It's just crazy. Ah, my fault, my fault. What? Who's heading out? Is it EJ? The time is 10, 23. Like, 24. 1, 0, 2, 3. All oh. right, fuck you. What? Oh, you know how to tell time? <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, so... Uh, it depends on it depends on which way because I've seen it like be used in positively and negatively. Like niggas would be like, "Wow, it's so amazing that a black person did this," and then be like, and some people would be like, "Oh, it's so amazing that a you know that this white person did that," and other people will say like taking it around and be like, "You're only supporting this person because they're black, or you don't right. really care that because this person is black." Mm -hmm. And there's also people that's like, "Oh, I hate this bitch. She's black, so I'm gonna hate on it." And there's also people that's like, "Oh, I hate this." Can bitch, we let Doka answer? answer. I didn't even yeah, get he's not even. Sedra's <laughs> not done. He's yeah. not even done. Yeah, like, I'm just waiting, bro. Let's be patient. Now. Be patient, man. But he asked him, not you. Oh, he said, no, he send said, you. Nah, nah, nah. It was, oh, it was, it was, it was for me originally. Don't feel that way. Oh. Don't look at me like that. I might, I might just have to. Stop touching me, you fucking. Sure. Oh, so you're more in frame, my boo. Overall, I just feel like that sucks. Having that blanket to cover, like, yo, con cuidado, con cuidado, mi niña. Oh, prior placement. Uh, uh, 
Oh, I forgot. I was, well, I was like, yo, what are you talking about? Her nails? Like. Yeah, it's still recording. I don't know. Or is it? Imagine. Yeah. I don't think I don't Five seconds. It is recording. <laughs> oh, we're still live. Yeah, Doka. So, like, what what what, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on on individuals that immediately jump to the race card? Uh, whenever it comes to any 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 social any any social any social uh, situation or uh, in social uh, argument. Well, again, it sucked. You know, you had that little blanket to cover you. Obviously, you know. Yeah. Um. Obviously, that's pretty fucked for her to even say that. It's like, what? What, that, what does that even matter? Um, that, that was like not part of your product. What are you trying to say about that? It. it was it was somebody else. Oh, yeah. that, no, no, yeah, it, it was definitely people in her comments. But like that, it's usually that. It's it's it's. I'm I'm noticing now more and more in social media, especially like on TikTok or Instagram, you have individuals who have like a platform, and those people of that platform are usually the ones to like bounce to the defense of said person using the race card. And then that usually stops other people from like attacking them because nowadays it's like if you're racist, that's like that's like the number one sin now. But yet we live in the most fucking racist country in the fucking world. Oh, <laughs> Straight up. Subject- oh, do we? Oh nah. yes, we do. Nah. That's not subjective. <laughs> I was playing. Man, that's not subjective, bro. <laughs> I will go on a fucking tangent. Bro, have you what seen? Have you seen the other videos that we've done, bro? Trust me, I, I don't think we're not racist in America. <laughs> Wait, so, yeah, wait, so, then, wait, I, 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 so we're on the same page then, right? Of course. Alright, because that, that, the way you said right now, like the way you worded it, it fucking broke my brain. Oh yeah, but I, I definitely hate him. He said, do not, not, not agree. <laughs> I don't know what you said. <laughs> I'll be like, I already think go back to where you're from. I'm yeah, that's here. crazy. What's up? That's wild no, when people I say that shit. I had someone said that to me while I was walking to school when I was like 17. Oh, Mind you, I was minding my business just walking to school. And this man, I remember him being a white older man. And all he said, literally just saw me. Go back to your country. What did you say? I was 16, 17. I, don't, I, I wasn't even paying attention. Like, you know how when you, like, you, it takes a minute for your process. Yeah. You was already, like, halfway down the street. And I was like, what? Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah. Like, I didn't even do anything. I was just, I was just coming. I went outside to grab food from school. Because I, I had an after school shit. And then I went back. I was on my way back to school. And I'm like, uh, I guess. That's funny. I was born here, but go all king. You were born here? That's you? crazy. I don't know. Was I was born in Wakanda. Oh Sorry. yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's crazy. No, I don't even remember. Uh-huh. Oh, we crazy. could we could talk about those trailers. About, we could talk about those trailers. I was gonna talk trailers. about um Ben Shapiro. Who? Ben Shapiro. Okay, okay. What's up, Ben Shapiro? So Ben Shapiro, you do you know who he is? Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not very so. I think the most recent Black the Black Panther, the movie that came out, he literally said something along the lines of like. Why do we, why why should we care? And I was just like, oh, Black Panther. Why shouldn't we? Why not? Literally, that's what he said. And then when he found out it like broke the record for like most of all, or, like most paid for. And then he, he changed his opinion. He, no, he said the exact same shit. He was just like, hey, well, it's only because he basically hinted that it was only because it was a black led movie. But no, no, no. All right. I mean, it's a, that's all right. Thing he said, though. It's like the so opposite of the same I would actually like I would yeah, I, I would I would I'm like saying. to actually say so speak on that, um, and it like I. When I watched these movies initially, the 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 idea that this was you like the idea of the uh, of of, uh, of a black person being placed in that position um, didn't never cross my mind, mm-hmm. right? Because from like a, a fan perspective, like a fan of Marvel, I see Black Panther as how he came from the from the comics. He is a black he's a black man comes from Wakanda. Which is in Africa, in in the fictional lore, obviously, right? So to have him, to have have a have the right person fit that role, shouldn't shouldn't like bring up the argument. Oh, like this is only popular because he's black, or this is only popular because he's like a symbol of for black people. That's never. It's never. It, it wasn't like that when when the comics came out, so it shouldn't be like that now that the movies came out. Because how stupid freaking how stupid how these NPCs are now. People said that though. People said when no, the I under, you know, first exactly. came out, and I like, and I don't and I, I didn't agree with that because no, I mean the comics. When the oh. comic first came out, it was for like Black Panther is directly from the idea yeah, the the, the group Black, Black Panthers, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the reason why people when like he came out he was super popular and yeah. people were like oh he's only popular because he's, he's not black. Popular because it's black. 
It's important to black people, but he's not popular because no, he's not exactly. Popular. That's, exactly. That's the best way to phrase it. He's it's important to black people, but it's not popular black because they're black. black that shit just lit. No, no, but like at the same time, it's like. But yeah, people say like that. it's it's. At, I can I can understand that like from like a fan perspective, like he is the first black superhero. He is the first like. Yeah. I don't. I, I like the first African American to be in that position as the as you see like these other super yeah super these gods it's, these exa- God exactly niggas, exactly yeah. but when you see all these other like superheroes yeah, they're, they're all usually Caucasian, Caucasian they're usually Caucasian exactly so from a from a from a from a individualist standpoint mm-hmm. and as like a fan you oh, see yeah, these you see these like you see these um these uh what, what is the what is what what, is, what would be the word uh haters not haters um like when you're, it's like a theme like a theme for something but like it's another word for it um not lens scope scope yeah i guess it would be like this is a different, different eyesight perspective. Perspective. Just perspective, yeah like you see this from a different perspective and like it shouldn't like it sh- i per all right let me i i guess, I guess let me just phrase it like this like i it shouldn't be whereas just because there are said like they look a certain way that that means that they need that 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 they specifically represent a like that cause like they like they are tied to like for example i know it's not like this but like black panther being tied to like the black lives matter movement just because he is a black superhero like that just that that that's just like a very far a far-fetched jump or a far a far-fetched conclusion to to come to like it should just be like he is a superhero he comes from this background but he is still a superhero at the end of the day not that it's, it, it it contributes to our our social our social issues today, because nowadays our social issues revolve around fucking Twitter and whatever bullshit people say on Twitter. But people don't know how to separate entertainment from like from polit- from politics essentially. And a big part of that is people abusing that 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 fan base that does see this stuff. And using that to advantage to push political views, but unfortunately, like, but it shouldn't be that way. But unfortunately, it is. Honestly, I see your perspective, but at the same, at the same time, it's like the people in the background that understand like statistics and all that. They all did this at a certain timing. You feel me? Yeah. They did this when Black Lives Matter was moving, and that was like really popular, and like you know, in our culture, society. We really try to uphold and like, you know, bring up black people because they've been treating, uh, they've been treated mis- mistreated actually. So at the same time, like that shouldn't be the way that we see things. But yo, that's how they made money. You know what I mean? Like they were like, yo, they probably pitched it like that. I'm not gonna lie. They were probably like, yo, Black Lives Matter is popping right now. Everybody's on their side. Let's let's make money off of this. And what's the best way to make money off of this other than? having the most popular character in a Marvel superhero universe that's black and the first one that is black. You know what I mean? So even though it shouldn't be popular or it shouldn't stand for that, at the same time, the people that are making money in the background that you don't see, they probably pitched it in that way. You know what I mean? So it probably depends, like it kind of really depends on like person to person basis. Because I seen the movie and my own opinion was it was good, but it wasn't like some next level shit. You know what I mean? But that's just my opinion. At the same time, I have, you know, everybody who's a fan, they told me it was amazing. It was the next yeah. level movie. But hey, everybody's for themselves. You know, everybody has their own opinions. So hold on. Before we tread off, like. Yeah, can I interject? Can I interject ground. real quick? Go ahead, go ahead. I got to take a whiz. Okay. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> but I got to. Um, Khalifa. Khalifa, yeah, man. Um, basically, I want to get everybody's opinion on Ben Shapiro. Do you side with him or not? Who it depends white? on what he said. And do you even like like him like and his, you know, his views? Because I I don't. And he always uses facts that just like justify what he's saying. And they're not even that great. But that's everybody though. Like if you're making an argument, if you're making a debate. Yeah, but facts don't mean that you're right. So. Okay. Damn, I don't even want to talk about this. What happened? Come on. Is this still on? Yeah. So, I hope I'm, <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> yeah, we Like, I guess I used to. Um, I used to agree with some of the things that he used to say because I guess I wasn't educated to the point where. Like, you could spot somebody who's just trying to, like, sound right 
and like talk fast like to make himself you know sound like he's saying something when he's really not so I feel like he never does really say much besides the basic conservative views all he does is talk fast and he articulates very well so it comes off very smart to yeah. most people he doesn't can I ask, clar- can I ask, spit, can I ask a clarifying thinks. question it's not, it's not can I ask a clarifying question well, you're talking about Ben Shapiro right now right yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. I would like to say something on that, that you, you actually said something like you said specifically like how he uh, he uses big words and he articulates it's honestly one of my biggest gripes with him because um, at one point when I first heard about him I was like when I when I first heard him in college when I like back in 2018 when I was in college like it, it, it made sense like things he would say would made sense to me but then, at a, after a certain point, I started hearing more people's uh, more people's uh, sides of their opinions and shit. I started like realizing, like, okay, he has a certain view on things, whereas other people have. That's kind of like how I learned left and right and middle and like you know alt left, alt right. That's kind of how I got like figured out the gauge. But one thing that really irks me about Ben Shapiro is that the, is the fact that like. Like if you if you notice like if you watch many of his videos, he has conversations with people who are who intellectually aren't on his same level and, yeah, like, and articulately yeah. aren't on his yeah. same he's level. He's a graduate of Car- like exactly. Harvard. Exactly. And he's talking to these people he's talking from like, to, like people who are pretty freshmen. regular, yeah, yeah like pretty freshmen regular in college. Or people who uh, just went universities. to college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like to, to, to expect to have a actual like like, like an arm arm debate. Yeah, 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 where like they, they, there's, there's no dialogue, like room for like someone that. to be overtaken or overpowered in, yeah. in the verbal argument. Like it, it, it's impossible because he literally chooses battles where he is going to and win. Just because you can of say his the same thing about uh, Stephen Crowder. You know who that is? Yeah, I, 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 I don't like him at all. I don't like him at all. I hate that nigga. I don't I like him at all. Nigga. So I have a question. So in order to gauge your audience and like, like not to say it like this, but to root the dumb people out. How else would you do it other than articulate better and use bigger words? No, but that's the thing. That's, that's the, a, no, but that's the thing. Like, it's 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 not a matter because it, it, it doesn't become. So like like um, let me phrase it like this. Like when you see their videos posted on YouTube, yeah, it is like you see it with the pretense that okay, it is a debate on a certain subject. Mm. But it's if you think when you look at it, when you look at it, when you take a step back, yeah. and you get to see like the page for what it is and all these videos for what it is. You start to notice like the people that are in these arguments with said person, right? God, these people true. aren't on the these same the intellectual same level. People, level. these people don't have the same experience. Like, but even like, then, even- I wouldn't even say they don't have the same intellectual level. I would say like for when it comes to Steven Crowder, for example, he's okay. going against people that are living. Like, let's say you're on your way to work. And you got some time. You make let's say you maybe you're early and you yeah, walk past yeah, yeah. some random nigga who's sitting there in a table that says, "Change my mind. I think abortion should be illegal." Right. And you're like. I got time today, and I feel like he's, he's like he's that's, he's like blissfully wrong. Like that's yeah, weird. Yeah, feel like he's wrong. So you go up to the dude, and you try talking to him. Then he starts flipping through this binder full of dozens of facts, the gathered by a research team that spent you know a couple of hours working on this and got paid for it. Yeah. And on top of all of that, this is you know this group, this person, you, you just got there because you're like fuck it, and you may know like some passing things about life and birth and stuff like that when it comes to the pregnancies yeah but you don't know too much besides the fact that you feel like it would be wrong. extremely wrong to yeah. kind of govern what somebody else would do especially Shit. legally that's yeah facts. and that's how that's, crazy. that's why his debates usually come off so well and why he comes off so smart mm-hmm. to other people because he already knows all this shit. he spent the yeah, last yeah, week he spent like the whole the, week, yeah, the whole week preparing, preparing all his for arguments it. and shit and exactly and preparing like and the, even the then, common like, responses to like the like things that he would say and just yeah. be ready for it all and i wouldn't even say like when you said the uh, ben superior was like you know just smarter than these people i won't lie to you of course he's an intelligent man but i, w- I don't think I, he's yeah, intelligent yeah. on political v- no, no 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 yeah i just because think he has a, a big i just think he has a broader vocabulary he is a broader because like this is the thing this is the thing like just because you use like three big freaking words in succession doesn't Does not mean, mean you say doesn't, doesn't mean you said something that makes sense. All right, whatever it just you means said, that it just means that like yeah. people like for people who are like just dumber, they'll see it as like oh this motherfucker just used two big like three yeah. big ass words that I don't really understand. I'm just gonna assume that he's right. Yeah. But if you're someone who's on the same intellectual or, or excuse me on the same uh, on the same that has the same vernacular as him, you're gonna be like. That doesn't, not make sense. Sense. Yeah. that doesn't make any sense. But you, as the viewer who has the the, 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 the superior vernacular, won't your your voice doesn't yeah have your voice doesn't reach yeah exactly. Even then, like like me, even as like what maybe I think the first time I seen one of his videos in high school, I remember watching it and I was sitting there like, 
But he said Kanye didn't make sense because yeah. he was arguing with some girl at, when he was giving a speech, and I was just like, he brought up a good point. And instead of attacking or coming back with her at that point, he then rerouted and attacked her specifically. Something that Stephen Crowder does. Mm-hmm. Something that both sides of left and right do constantly. No, that probably, I hate yeah, of course. Because, bro, you're not having this debate anymore. You you felt away because somebody attacked how you felt about this certain topic and now you're bitching and complaining yeah for example like he was getting steven crowder one time was getting cooked in a debate i forgot what the debate was about but the kid called him autistic oh. no. <laughs> yeah the kid called him autistic Holy. i don't know yeah so the, like the kid that was arguing with steven crowder called steven crowder autistic no, of course. no i understand okay yeah i, understand. Yeah, I was like hopefully like, oh, nobody Mistook. And then as soon as that was said, Steven started running with the fact that he called him autistic and was just basically dismissing anything he said. He called him autistic and it irritated me because he was cooking Steven Crowder. He had nothing to say. And even then, I don't think Steven is smart. No, no, dude. You saw HD, HD. Literally, that's like, that's like what literally old, like, I, 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 even our viewers can relate. Like any of our old school parents, like... If you have a freaking discussion with them or an argument with them, yeah. like you'll, you'll you'll be talking about some real shit. You could be you could be in the right 110, percent but the moment you curse, they're only gonna focus on the fact that you said a curse word or some bullshit. Like for for example, and then they will they'll, they'll miss the like the bigger for picture, exit. the bigger picture of what you said. Exactly. This is because you like use an adjective to emphasize your point. Yeah, if you or if like let's say, I think one time I had a conversation with my mom. I was like, yo, mom, like you're. I feel like you're ODing, like, you didn't have to come to me so angrily. You could have just been like, hey, can you just do this? And I would have been like, sorry, just give me a second. And she said, why can't I do that? Because I'm your mom. And I was just like, bro, that, that's not, you're not addressing not what point. I said. Yeah, yeah, that's not the point. You know, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, you feel me? And that's the same way I feel about, you know, Ben Spiro and all those niggas. Like, they There's don't some... do that shit. Well, they're just kind of like. I wanted to, I wanted to say, I wanted to say two things. First, I wanted to say something. First, yeah, I wanted to say something to, uh, about the, uh, Stephen Crowder thing and then. I wanted to ask you a question. Uh, for it's an open question for everybody to answer for whoever wants. So first of all, uh, for the Steven Crowder stuff, like so, cool. so like in the beginning of a Steven Crowder, like like his up like his uh, his jump start, it was like he would have like outdoor conversations with like random individuals, and that's kind of like how he got his publicity because it was like it was very raw. It was like it was a new person every 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 conversation, so it was fresh, right? But at a certain point, if you like, especially after COVID. If you kept if you kept following like his stuff and his and his bullshit, yeah, it was, his propaganda, it was weird. right? It was weird. Like he had like the 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 studio the studio podcast. He had like his producers, and it would like cut cut angles and shit to the different people who were speaking right now. But like, if you dig deeper into it, like if you like if you sat through one of their videos, bro, it is the cringiest fucking it thing is. ever, bro. I, I like saw like from it the other his day. script, like he writes the script, he directs the script, right? And he has these jokes that are, that are not funny, that are not funny. But in the script, it literally says, laugh. Like, they have to laugh. And it says it in the script. It, it ha- they have to laugh, right? Like, the people, but like, they're never funny. The jokes are never funny. And the people in, um, the people in the freaking podcast, if they don't laugh, they'll literally hear from, from, from Steven Crowder afterwards there was a guy who literally wasn't laughing at his shit and actually said something about it on the podcast and he was never in the podcast again but what he said like he said your shit is boring Nah, he just basically like, it wasn't funny basically it just wasn't funny he like, had that, a like, that joke. Saying, Yo, yeah yeah and then so, like he was never there again so he after said that. the truth Y'all talking about podcasts? ironically we're talking about uh steven crowder yeah real quick before we continue on our yeah. beloved jessica uh 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 oh, 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 is leaving us uh, 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 I must go. It was a pleasure being here. I enjoyed it. Hopefully, I can come back again one day. I don't know if y'all like me or whatever. I like those pants. <laughs> <laughs> My entire fit. Hey, um, you wearing his pants? I'm wearing That's my gig. I'm trying to wear you. He's wearing my fit. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I just spent the night here. So y'all should talk about that. Fa- what, is that what is that podcast? That one podcast that's not misogynistic. I forgot who he is. <laughs> no, please. I don't listen to your podcast. You're not that crazy. No, no. he does. He's flaming fuck. girls on there. Oh, you talking about fucking fresh and fit? Yes. That f- little bum fuck ass them. niggas. We'll talk about them. Talk about them Monday. Don't face at me. No, I'm kidding. I'm, nah, I'm not. I'm not talking about them, dude. There's no need to give them the. the, the, the they're stupid. They're free. They're, they're, they're garbage. They're garbage. They're, they're horrendous. <laughs> they're horrendous. They're horrendous. No, no, no. You're what? No. Yeah, way more subscribers than us. Like, I don't give a shit. They're no, horrendous. No, no, it's paid. No, no, it's paid no, subscribers. Right, bro, I gotta go. Bro. Y'all have a lovely evening. It's like six nine. Love y'all. Six nine is nine, bro, because he's not getting the attention he deserves. See y'all next time, hopefully. Bye, Jazz. See you on the next episode. This ever happens. Be safe. Don't slam the door. 
Slam the door. Bang! But yeah, um, yeah, that was basically the Steven Crowder shit I wanted to say. Oh, but then, the question? Yeah. no, no, yeah, I was, yeah, this is the question I wanted to give you guys. Um, basically, oh god, <laughs> I'm blanking. Oh god. You go for it, blanking out. I'm blanking on the question. It was a good one too. It was pretty fucking thought out. Oh yeah, keep doing that, Doka. <laughs> nah, Doka is crazy. Yo, if only I saw the bullshit I saw. Oh so yes. So weird, bro. What's wrong All right, if guy? if the question comes back to me, I will I will definitely take the mic just to say. It. Oh my god, spread eagle, spread eagle, me uh, daddy. I'm gonna just say my two cents on this real quick, One, real two? quick. But uh, Sorry. I guess it's it's really up to us to, you know, just break down. All these niggas with power, like, oh. right? So it's like we have to, we have to, we have to call them. Fuck you. We have to call them out on their bullshit. You gotta call them fuck you. And yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like we probably do have the power because we're man young, right? If we all band together, I feel like we can make a change. Obviously, one individual, like versus like whoever, Ben Shapiro. Or anybody that thinks that same way is not gonna have as much power as a whole group, you know. Especially if this nigga comes to like a college and it's like, okay, um, he's gonna take any questions and it's like, well, no, like you're not in charge, we're in charge. You know what I mean? Like, and I, I understand like you gotta pay him or whatever, like for him to even like show up, but and like his, and his views like, what is it? Um, his wife. It's saying stuff about like how all females should. That's his sister. Yeah. Oh, his sister. Yo, his sister though. Mm -hmm. How how all females should be um like a housewife and like that's what that's, his sister. that's the only yeah, that's thing his that females like, should be used and for. And with her like fat ass titties, like, he's like, yeah, women should always cover up. And it's like, bro, your titties are huge. Even if you cover up, like it's, it's your really body, you get to do what you want. Ben Shapiro city. I don't even know, man. I, would be I wouldn't be surprised. His mom's. Um, that. I said his mom's. His bro, sister's. Oh, Yo, you're she out of like pocket, triple, bro. She got triple D's. I'm inside the pocket. <laughs> I want to be. Honest. I want to be in that pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. What does it matter if he goes to a college, bro? He's just gonna get roasted out because people are more smarter than they used to be. So Especially just, nowadays, because like, like look, information I, is more readily yeah. available. Nah. And people have discussions on like Twitter and shit. Like sometimes it's stupid, but sometimes it's smart. So you just they, he's gonna get roasted regardless. The only people who listen to him mm -hmm. are people who are white and misogynistic and racist. So you've seen the clip done with him and like Caitlyn Jenner, right? Have I? I don't was know. Was it Caitlyn Jenner? Wait, I didn't even know he no, had was, a clip. Was, Jenner. I think I think it was Caitlyn Jenner. The person I grabbed like, him by his neck, or somebody else? Did? I I don't remember. Was I, it transsexual because he wouldn't address them by their terms. Yeah, that was Caitlyn Jenner. That was that one. That was. I, think that was somebody, I didn't. Right? I thought that was somebody right? else too. Yeah. Wasn't it? All right, hold on. All right, all right. If it's no. not, then it's somebody not. got a fact. Doka, can you search it up? No. Oh, For okay. one, Great. this motherfucker Snow likes is talking a how lot of shit. I'm not talking shit, bro. I'm just <laughs> letting you know. <laughs> oh, let me know. Okay, let me know. I'm telling you, bro, I'm the Thank voice you. is in yeah, your head. Right? He's the all voice right, of the voice, bro. Right? Hey, yeah. Can, can I get another? Can, another can I get another? Can I get another, one, can I get another one. cold one, bartender? Yeah, this one is. Another Thank one. you. This is the last one. Uh, you don't have to go get more. Send you doesn't Bob, can we share that? Doesn't drink, um, so you know. Open it, open it with, uh, open it with the other thing. Uh, there should be a uh, thing here. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, as you were saying? No, I was just, I just want to talk uh, that yak, because Anthony... Oh, my name, my name. It'll be bleeped out. My name, my back. Sorry. Sorry, Sanju. Anyway, Snorlax will just... I'm just letting you know, bro. No, talk to more. I want to. I want to hear your voice. You sexy ass beast. I love it. Motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, continue. Me or? It was Helson. Bobby. Continue. Continue. All right, matter of fact, since I got you. So it is. I, I searched it up. I searched it up. I searched it up, and it's uh Caitlyn Jenner for sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. No, it's on YouTube. Oh, you. Oh, on Windows. On Windows so, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You who? So it was Kaylin Jenner. Um, and yes, th I think that's uh, where, like, Kaylin Jenner let those emotions, like, get 
you know, better of her, to, yeah. To, yeah, to her. And um, it's just like I guess that whole situation in general. Oh my god! But yeah, that whole situation in general was very um. Oh shit! It was very particular. We That's why I think like since. I only know so much about Ben Shapiro that that situation probably helped him it look better him in that bit. light yeah. because Caitlyn Jenner fucked up. Like, go, you're gonna go home in an ambulance. Hey, pause. Like, verbatim. Pause. Well, wait, that's, that's what he said? said? Yeah. Yes. yes. Wow. She, she. Are we, we're pausing. There's no, there's no uh, paper towels, and I want to clean it up. There's no bathroom. There's. There's. Got him. You wanted to jump back into it. So, um, that was basically it. Like, I think because of that situation, it allowed for more people to be like, wow, I think Ben Shapiro is actually right. Yeah, especially so, because yeah. a lot of people were, uh... <sighs> Wait, do you want to just pause yeah, until he's done cleaning? Pause, yeah. And we're back. I don't remember what we were talking about. Uh, Ben Shapiro and his, uh, Oh, his big titty sister? Oh, I remember now. I was gonna... I was gonna say something different. Oh, you were? Yeah. So I was gonna bring up a topic from last week, last podcast. Do you guys remember? Nigga. Can... Do you guys think white people should be able to say nigga at a concert? White people? At a concert? I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm gonna keep it real with you, dude. We're, talk- we're just talking. I'm gonna say it. They look cocky. I'm gonna say it. I wanna. No, 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 check me out, check me out. Does, it's because you said specifically a concert, bro. Like, like if you're at a concert, if you're at a concert, dog, and you hear somebody, like, you're, like for example, you're at a Kendrick concert. And you hear like you you hear the white person next next to you like recite the lyrics as he's like as he's performing and he says the n word and they would say the n word like, bro, y'all at a concert, bro. Ha- like ninety percent of that freaking audience is on Molly or some type of psychedelic or or coked up or whatever, bro. Like they're they're on like mad drugs plus alcohol plus like everything else under the sun, bro. So for you to for you to care that they said it at that setting is wild. You think so? Oh, D. So oh, you think white people should be able to say nigga? At a concert? I don't concert? think I don't think anybody should care if it's at a concert. Not everybody, not everybody is. I don't think you should care if it's at a concert. But if it's like, but if it's in conversation or in passing, like in like not in a situation where like where you guys are at a music festival where like you're just reciting your favorite song that you, of this artist, like that is kind of wild. You think so? Oh, D. Oh, D. And let's say let's say you're in a conversation with a white person and they're quoting Kendrick. And they're like, oh, do you know that one song? He's like, this is my city, Wait, I run my So you said, you, you, said, you said it in, in a concert or a conversation? I'm, I'm talking, because you just said that it's okay because I said because you said Because you said at a concert. I am saying at a concert. At a concert, yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, but I'm talking. How are you hearing them with those, with those, with those right, speakers so, blasting? Right, you, How are you I'll, hearing them? I'll give them? you the context of what happened. I'll give, I'll give you the context of what happened. So this is what happened. No, you wouldn't. This, <laughs> <laughs> this is the context. The context was that Roddy Rich, that's his name, right? Yeah, I, I low-key hate him. So, Rhodey Ritz. You hate him now or before? Huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, what you got there, huh? What's on your hands, son? Yeah. 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 Let me see that, son. Let me see that. Let me, let me get some of that, son. Anyway, so what happened is basically that Rhodey Ritz went to, I think it was London, and he was playing um that song, The Box. And I, for the life of me, don't remember how the words go, but it says nigga a whole lot. And he kept cutting himself he basically kept encouraging them to say nigga because every time he finished his sentence he'd go da 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 box nigga and then niggas would be like nigga and then you <laughs> you know what I mean like he, you just said it, I don't remember how I don't remember how the song went but like he would stop and then you know how like when the artist stops and they then like the audience got to say oh like when they cut the when they cut the music no then we know we need to stop singing the song themselves and then like they point the cam- the mic towards the camera yeah, 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 yeah. they're like yeah, they're like yeah, 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 yeah you know yeah, yeah, yeah. i eat ass I you. nigga you fucking know your bitch <laughs> nigga <laughs> 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 it's like that yeah <laughs> so he's doing that shit and everybody was and then afterwards we were like you know a lot of the black community well that you know give a shit because some don't they were like, yo, bro, you know, you got white people saying, nigga, that's weird, that's uncomfortable, blah, blah, blah. 
Yo, bro, yo, I swear to God, bro, for a generation that fucking grew up on fucking South Park, Family Guy, American Dad, Simpsons, bro, we have we are we have a generation of freaking pussies, bro. How are we so easily offended Thanks. by this by Thanks. this humor, by this by these topics, bro? When Thanks. we literally like, we would watch cartoons that would make fun of these motherfuckers That's on a daily basis. Before bro. before That's you problem. continue that point, I will finish no, this point. Continue. Let him continue. But, to quickly say, like, I actually don't mind when it comes into a comedic sense when it comes to certain things, depending Word. on how the comedic okay. sense is being I, coming I, off. I'm, I want to add on to what you just said. Yeah, right like, now. if you say shut I, up, I, 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 I think it just comes down to context. Just like how in comedy, like, to avoid off- offending anybody, you need context. But yeah, comedy needs context, context, the context. If you don't have context, then you don't have a good, you don't like, have, you don't have good comedy. South Park got that so one wait, episode, they were saying niggas, they had white niggas saying niggas. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, I just found out I'm 15% black. He was like, sup, Tom? Sup, nigga? What you said, Doka? So. No. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I already know what you was going to Oh. I think the reason why that's so wait, so he's not allowed to be in a different country to say his own music because majority of his songs has the word nigga. I'm not saying that he's yeah, not allowed know, like, to be in another country. So. It's just the fact that these Maybe are because people are like, oh, you know, this is white people <laughs> saying nigga, and for anybody that may not be informed, England is fucking racist. The black people. It may not be on the level that America is, but they they up there too. I feel like they're more racist. Nah, it's a different country. Nah, they're not as racist. Not no. Yeah, that shit. Homie, no, it's homie, we yo, bro, the whole prison system is meant to fucking recycle, <laughs> recycle inmates, you, and uh, predominantly yeah. uh, the, the the population of inmates are African American, bro. Where do you think that started from? That idea. No, but no, 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 but no, 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 no. I'm only arg. I'm only speaking on the fact to your argument, which was that Europe is that 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 people in Europe are more racist than people in America. No, we are literally we are a country. We are we are the moment. We are literally a country built on the exploitation of our own people, bro. The reason why we will never move forward as society and move forward from the point that we are is because. That's we a are good, stuck in a, in a cycle. That's a good question, yeah, though. That's around. a good Money question, though. Turn around, baby. Because he's saying for that... Money for monetary and, and publicity purposes, bro. But he's saying that, like, you know, we got... <laughs> he's saying that Europe is more racist than America right now. I think that's... I think the reason why it's not, even though we do have... Like, black people will be treated like dog shit in certain parts of Europe. I won't lie to you. No, the difference... Facts, facts, the difference, facts. I will say, is mainly be... Will mainly be the proximity to black people. That's why I will say... And I'm saying this to say that to say America, right? Yeah. We have America has the biggest diverse population of any area ever. Obviously. Especially NYC and other parts like that. And then if you look into the smaller right. parts that are very racist, they're like organized communities that were made specifically to keep white people in there, keep blacks out, right? Okay. And then you go to Europe, you look at Europe, you do have these very closed ethnic circles where it's mainly these caucasians and whatever you else you want to refer to the mass but these mainly white passing people that are going to be there the reason why <coughs> most people i won't agree with you on the saying that you know europe is more racist than black people is that black people and several other people have said like for example they've been to germany and a lot of people say like while people may not understand you and may not like see you to you and be like comfortable at first they're not gonna sit there and you know day room you type shit because yeah. to them they're more like holy shit it's a black person. I haven't seen one, Rebecca. Holy like, fuck. but like but in America, in, Re- in America, it's more like holy shit. It's a black person. They're gonna rob me. They're gonna steal me. They're gonna yeah, rape no, because, my white wife. Ah, because like, that, that, that's, that's how it comes that, off. But that's what's pushed into our media. That's what's pushed as like the yeah, like American the stereotypes media. of that people. And that's like, but then like, hi, like, but then like, check, check this out. Check this oh, out. No, 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 we know what it is. It's like, when's the last time you saw a black person in Italy? Name a time. If you've ever seen a black person in Italy. Right there. Yeah. In, in, in Italy. Oh. I'm looking at Sanju right you now. You only see people who are white or brown like me. You don't see black people. You see a lot more of them in London. Yeah, so you don't see a lot of... It's kind of like America. Where's How many black people you see in NYC? Damn near most, right? A damn near most in, in Cali. Damn near most in the South. But they're not in the Midwest. At least not all of them. Or not a lot of them. Yo, how do you how do you? Yeah, but how, London they built on black people. They got like black rappers. Most of them are from London. 
a lot of them are part oh, yeah. of the culture. So oh, like, oh yeah, freaking. It's just uh, about placement. It's not about Twenty One like, Savage. But, but then, it's um, not about country. It's not about time. It's not about place. It's about where wow. they've been at and how long they've been there. Oh, Mad yeah. people blame been in, been in America for a long ass time. London is more just like they've been yep. there and they build the culture from so the ground up. So we'll go back to the idea of where the system is fucking racist. If you listen to the music, the culture is all about promoting drugs, violence, all of that. Where do you think that comes from? Yeah, so but that's the that's individual. The system. That's not the culture. That's but that's the, the individual. system. That's the system. Yeah, no, a lot of the system. Say. No, but, like, but, but what, what you're what you're speaking on, what you're speaking on is American culture, American yeah. culture, and American exploitation but of I'm black people. That's that what you're speaking on. But I'm that saying, has nothing to do with European culture. But I'm saying it doesn't just go from America, and that's just America. I'm saying it's all over the place. I'm saying I'm saying that America started from Europe. It started from England. All of that. No, no, I get that. I understand that. And yeah, yeah. No, no. At the same time, I they're a hundred years older than us. You feel me? Several. But but, uh, yeah, but yeah, as you were saying, yeah. as you were saying, I didn't want to cut you off. No no, 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 you're fine, you're fine, bro. But like they're a hundred years older than us, so by the time that we're catching up to them, we're gonna be on the same type of page. We're gonna be more slick with it. They're more slick with it. That's what I'm trying to say. Slick with it? Yeah, like they're. What they're does that more, even mean? They're more low key with it. Like you know how you said that they kind of put the culture together. They kind of boss people out. They do that for a reason. I know, I know. Like they have that mentality where it's that like mainly, yo, that mainly happens in America, and it was done on purpose. That's what I was trying to say. For example, like you was like, it started there. You, England, I think, was the first place to legally abolish slavery, yeah, it and it is way more accepting of oh, black people over of there. Black yeah, a lot of people went to London when they were able to. Because it was free. Because it, it was, was free. free. It was free. Even I think even one of the statements that was actually released from the king of the time yeah. was any black person that steps foot in England You're is a free, free man. Because yeah. we do not follow the slavery idea. Check me out. Check me out. Check me out. Slavery was abolished when Lincoln said it. But they had a loophole. You feel me? What? Do you remember the loophole? What was the loophole? What? The loophole was as long as they're not criminals. And then what did they do? They made the system set up. As I mean, that's yeah, America, that's not, though. Yeah. Yeah, once no, again, yeah, yeah. Once again, you're speaking. Of, you're speaking. You're speaking. Yeah. No. It again, didn't happen on, on the, the, the same way. You're, you're, you're speaking on how America st- is like stigmatizes you black you black people in our America. in our country. It's not the same how it is in, in other countries. So, all right, look. Something I wanted to touch on was like, look, like you spoke on how Europe, you spoke on Europe and their views on black people. You spoke on America and, and their views on black people. But then, like, what about places like like Japan? Where, where where black people go there, they're like a commodity, and like even like regular mm-hmm. regular bystanders will, will will walk up to them and ask to take pictures of them. That's a fact. That's a, that's a that's a thing that happens when you're when, if you're a black if you're a black individual, you go to Japan. People want to take pictures with you. Yeah. Like, you don't even have to look. You don't even have to be dressed nice. They just mm-hmm. want to take pictures. Like holy wanna... fuck, it's a black person. And like and, and I feel like <laughs> some people. No wait 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 pause pause pause. pause. Jesus Christ, no. Man. no way. <laughs> Nah, he said what he said. Get him. <laughs> Get him. Y'all back. Cancel him. Yeah, now, but you spit it because it's like they don't, like they, it's only them. It's exactly. very rare that exactly. there's black Japanese people. But then, but then, but then, but what's crazy is Japanese people are one of, like, they're very, they're very racist people. They're very, they're very racist people, but not, yeah. but towards because all, other all Asians. Their, all their they are very racist. They're Asians. very racist people, but then, like, but, when, but, but then when it comes to black people, they're like a commodity. It's so it's, yeah, it's such like, a, it's such a weird you know the uh, the guru I think it's pronounced guru a oh, guru the guru culture over there the gal culture where like a lot of Japanese like for example have you seen um Ooh. I think oh, um, like yeah the dark skin and women women in 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 Japan and stuff there's those ideas and all of that comes from like the uh, the popularization of hip hop in America so they have like added little things to their like the way they talk in von, their vernacular. To imitate black people and such on and so forth. Even though, even though like the idea has kind of like dropped a bit over there, there's still like a lot of popular like things. For example, J rap, I think that's how you phrase it, is getting really popular and they very much like have basically the exact same fit. Same, nah, they be spitting fucking facts. That shit is fire, bro. That's what I'm saying. And that's why, like, overall, I would say, like, uh, I don't, I just, like, yeah, we might. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, like, overall, I won't, I won't I agree on point. that. <laughs> so. Anyway, we're going to take another brief. We probably took a lot of cuts, but that's okay. We're going to wrap it up like that. Not even finish yes. the topic. No, we're not. Oh my Sorry. God. Like sum up, sum it up, sum it up, I mean, sum it up. You have the last, last point. Do we? You have the last point. Hurry up and sum it up. I hate you both. 
All right, so he doesn't want to sum it up. That's okay, too. It's not my fault. I'm gonna sum it up because you're too much of a bitch to sum it up yourself. I'm too much of a bitch. You always do this shit. Anyway. Always. Always. Anyway. Unless, if I could, bro, I would. I would definitely show you how many times I've had to cut through shit and then you just get to the end. It's in the middle of a great ass point. Everybody's like, oh my god, this is so good. And even like, when I'm listening to it, I'll be listening to it for the TikTok clips. I'll be like, yo, this shit is so good right now. Then it goes, well, let's wrap it up. I gotta go suck some dick tonight. And it's Richard. <laughs> this is bitch ass. Yep. And I'm just like, nah, there needs to be bloopers, bro. Yep. I'm like, what, why That's would you what do that? We, and got, yep, we got it for the bloopers. Yep, 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 and I'm yep, like, why would you do that? And then Doke is like, yeah, I'm gonna go play Valorant for the 50th time today but it's and go Valorant. lose again. No, no, no. no. I gotta That's rank up. I mean, you know this nigga fat ass like look, don't, 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 look, I'll put your ass today, bro. I will be ass in fighters, bro. I don't care. I don't play fighting games. Yo, any other game, Go touch bro. grass. What game, bro? Go, how about you go touch name grass? A, name a game, How about you touch grass? You fucking nerd. Fucking nerd. That's why you don't show your face in videos. I, I will be ass in basketball, bro. Sum up what we were saying. Look at this guy, bro. Look at this guy. Mass petition over summing shit up, bro. Man, fuck you, man. No, you're not. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, because obviously I can't have anything in this fucking life. Let's all spread a little Big 38, go hawk him. Okay. What he said. If you liked our content, you liked today's video, just you can see his knuckle. like and subscribe. <laughs> you see my, my what? My little his knuckle. knuckle. My, my little, little knight. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so, as, as he said. <laughs> oh, this is a fucking mess. Anyways, like we said, uh... Fuck racism. I said again, like and subscribe. We didn't even like, like really, content. we didn't even do what we were originally.